welcome back again ladies and gentlemen to my youtube channel where we make sure that we update you on what is going on here in kenya ladies and gentlemen and to those who are taking their time to view or watch my videos when i uploaded them I don't have much to give you but I am just thanking you for taking your time to view my videos because your time is not taken for granted here ladies and gentlemen. I just want to thank you for your continued support and keep on supporting me by watching my videos until to the end ladies and gentlemen. I'm just kindly requesting you to always watch my video to the end and make sure you like my video, comment and subscribe and that one will be a very very great support to me ladies and gentlemen so as you know very well that yesterday we have a nani nani protest that make the country to be on a total shutdown yesterday of which several shops were closed were closed here in the nairobi cbd ladies and gentlemen when people were the GNZs and youths were protesting here in Nairobi CBD. So uh, by that time when William Samuel Ruto was swearing in his 18 uh, cabinet secretary that a couple of them have just started uh, their work today. But I don't want to get uh, into touch with that one. I just want to talk about an interesting sad story about a businessman Jimmy Wanjigi that is being known here with many many people that he is always the enemy of the government of William Samoy Ruto because of how William Samoy Ruto is ruling the people of Kenya since he entered the office August 2022 ladies and gentlemen yesterday when the Gen Z's were protesting in the street Jimmy Wanjigi was spotted passing with two vehicles, the Land Cruiser V8 and Land Cruiser TX. But in the meantime, Land Cruiser of the police officers was spotted chasing those two TX, Land Cruiser TX and one Land Cruiser V8. Jimmy Wanjigi was inside those vehicles. But the, the vehicles were running towards Mudaiga where Jimmy Wanjigi always live and the one for the land cruiser of the police officers were be, behind uh, that vehicle. Of, they were just bumper to bumper with the car vehicle of the Jimmy Wanjigi ladies and gentlemen. So he was being chased like that, like that because there was a clue that he is the one who is funding the ongoing protest here in Kenya. And let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know why the police officers of Kenya are being treated like this. Because when General Ogola died in let me, uh, three months back or four months back, William Samoruto attended that burial in Sierra country. And he promised the people of Kenya that the police officers are not going to be misused. So I don't know why the businessman Jimmy Wanjigi is being treated like an al-Shabaab, al like Osama Bin Laden. Do you remember, ladies and gentlemen, how Osama Bin Laden was being raided each and every time, morning, evening, day, night? That is, why, that is how the police officers but i don't think those were those who are the police officers ladies and gentlemen according to the clip or the video that i had when those armed police officers imagine a police officer that were there were over 500 going to look for only one person surely but they didn't find jimmy wanjigi and his home do you know why Jimmy Wanjigi was in his home yesterday when those police, police officers raided that place when they were searching for I don't know whatever. 
Jimmy Wanjigi was inside his home, ladies and gentlemen. He is having a room, a specific place where if he, if he entered that place, you can't find him. But he will be looking at you at the CCTV. He's having a downfall. Inside the not downfall, inside the house, there is a hole there. There's a hole underground of the house that he has built a safety nest place that he can hide himself. And that is where the Jimmy Wanjigi was hiding yesterday that make the police officers not to find or notice where he was. But he was just looking at those people. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm not happy the way the police, office, the police officers that were sent to Jimmy Wanjigi's place were behaving with the family of the Jimmy Wanjigi. Allow me to play for you a clip here. Don't shoot me. Do not shoot me. Do not, do not shoot me. Do not shoot. Do not shoot me. Do not shoot me in my house. Do not shoot me. I hope you have understood what was going on there in that clip. As you can see how the police officers were operating inside the house of Jimmy Wanjigi. They even break the door of Jimmy Wanjigi when they were entering inside the house. But when they entered into the house, there was a wife of Jimmy Wanjigi that was screaming, please do not shoot me. Wanjigi's wife pleads as a heavily armed anti-terror commandos storm their home. Ladies and gentlemen, how can you storm a home of a human being businessman that is being known here with many people? They just treated her house like a thief. And that person is being known here in Kenya. And even Jim Wanjigi had an interview with the NTV Citizen Deeds Media podcast, of which he said is the trying to tell them that they cannot find him. Even he said in, the, in that interview that the police officers have been looking for him even in the previous seven years back, but they didn't find him. Jim Wanjigi is a very intelligent person. You cannot find him the way they think they always abduct the Gen Z's. That person is a very, very intelligent person with minded, strong-minded person. So, a day after the police raided businessman Jimmy Wanjigi's home in Mudaiga, a video of his wife pleaded with the special forces not to shoot at her imad. In the video shared by international journalist Alan Namu, the heavily armed anti-terror police could be seen making their way into Jimmy Wanjigi's home in style. Wanjigi's wife could be heard pleading with them not to shoot her even as flashing lancer light to, took to the room by storm. The way those police officers, the security agents that were sent to raid Jimmy Wanjigi's home, how they were operating with those guns really shocked me, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to arrest somebody, you need to call him, tell her to go to the nearest police station before you came to search his compound. Because it is not good to raid somebody's home and break things there carelessly because you are searching for one person. You are causing a damage of 200 million going because you are searching for a human being that have not yet done anything wrong. Releasing people from jail is not a crime, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes we just need to say, talk about truth. Because it is high time we watch this police officers and the government of William Ruto. He promised the people of Kenya that they are, they, the police officers are not going to be misused. Imagine yesterday, the police officers were operating from morning to evening. Again today, they were taken to raid again the family of Jimmy Wanjigi in Budaiga. Even Raila Amolodinga was there. 
Martha Karua was there to see what was going on there after the family were crying about how the police officer flying squad were misbehaving with them. If and every person of the family of Jimmy Wanjigi was being mishandled or misused, they were being beaten by logs. I don't know what is happening here in Kenya. A multi-agency team, including heavily armed officers, surrounded the home of a bead located Wanjigi, who was reportedly absent during the search. It was reported that the police conducted three separate searches, one on Thursday evening at 7 p.m. when they breached the entrance, another one at midnight at the last one at Friday morning at around 6 today, of which they were trying to meander around the compound of Jimmy Wanjigi if they can find a leakage, how, if they can find a way of catching or arresting the business, businessman Jimmy Wanjigi. However, Wanjigi managed to escape and was not arrested. He was accused of funding the Nani Nani protest after he appeared at CBD on Thursday to join the protest. But according to the Constitution of Kenya, each and every Kenyan is allowed to protest yeah, that is in uh, Article 37. Each and every person here in Kenya have a right to protest here in Kenya. So I don't know why they were raiding Jimmy Wanjigi's home, ladies and gentlemen. Remember to give me your thoughts in the comment section below if this idea or behavior of police officers being misused by the government of the Republic of Kenya. The police officers are supposed to give the maximum security, but not raiding people's house, breaking the doors, giving somebody a loss. That one is not allowed, ladies and gentlemen. But the court that Seen, ugly scene that was captured at Jimmy Wanjigi's place was taken to court. Court block businessman Jimmy Wanjigi's arrest, ladies and gentlemen. The High Court has issued a temporary order to stopping the police from arresting and curtailing the movement of businessman Jimmy Wanjigi pending the determination of a case he failed. Justice Bahati Mwamunye said in the event Wanjigi could have been arrested or detained as the application was pending hearing in court, the officers should immediately set him free if, if he was arrested. The judge certifi certified the matter of field by Wanjigi's and agent and direct him to serve the IGDCI and ODPP by the close of business on August 12th. The respondent will then file their response before August 14th. The case will be mentioned on August 16th for the purpose of talking and hearing the date, ladies and gentlemen. That is why we are having courts here in Kenya because that is their work to handle what is going on here, in, to handle the such cases of misbehaving with the people of Kenya. That is how the court is helping the people of Kenya. And that is why, and that is, why that is the main importance of court. They always judge people accordingly. As with that of Jimmy Wanjigi, as you can see, the court is saying that that one was not yet a good dramatic because the police officers of Kenya like drama. And let us wait and see what is going to happen and make sure you stay tuned so that you don't miss anything that Frontliner is covering or what we are what we are analyzing on our YouTube channel. We know very well that Raila Molodinga went there 
We don't know what happened there. But the police officers, the truth is that the police officers of the Republic of Kenya like dramatic, ladies and gentlemen. Let us meet the next video that is going to be uploaded shortly within no time. Don't stay away. Just share this video so that share this video video to your family so that they don't have enough. They don't they have a good uh, information. Let us miss the next video.